the first question that we need to understand is what is a secure transaction? Now, distinguish a secure transaction from a statutory lien, from a judicial lien, from a tax lien. In all these cases, your personal property is subject to an external interest unless you meet your obligation. For example, in the case of a tax lien uh, on your property, unless you pay the taxes, your property is not going to be free of lien. And if you don't pay taxes, they are going to uh, seize and sell the property subject to tax lien. Now, a secure transaction is distinguishable from tax liens and judicial liens and statutory liens on a very simple basis. A secure transaction is founded on a contract. It is a contract between the lender and the borrower whereby the lender offers a loan and the borrower offers a piece of property as security. Now with the security agreement, a security interest is created in the property offered as collateral, which means that if the borrower does not pay the loan according to the terms of the contract, and default occurs, uh, the lender can seize the collateral and maybe sell it in order to get the money back. So liens and secure security interests are similar to the extent that they subject personal property to an external interest. They are distinguishable because a secure security interest is based on a contract whereas liens are coercive and are founded either on law, a judicial opinion, uh, judicial order, or um, uh, some other coercion like uh, non-payment of taxes.